Hello and welcome to the Evolve Pipe Drive podcast, where we talk all things pipe drive, sales, apps and pipe drive marketplace. My name is Bruce Bignall, I'm the sales director here at Evolve. And Evolve is a consultancy that's based out in the UK, working globally, that specialise in helping businesses get more out of pipe drive uh, through implementation, consultancy and training. Uh, and today I have the pleasure to be joined by Krish uh, Ramineni, uh, the co-founder and CEO at Fireflies. And he's going to walk us through the Fireflies platform and how it integrates with pipe drive. Over to you. Hey there, everyone. I'm excited to share uh, how Fireflies and Pipedrive integrate. So a quick overview of what Fireflies is. Fireflies is an AI voice assistant. It connects to your Zoom, WebEx, Google Meet, all the major video conferencing platforms, Microsoft Teams, you name it. And then it's able to join your calls. And our AI note taker is able to take notes and transcribe the meeting and give you a proper meeting summary and recap so you can look back to. What I'm here in is the Pipedrive marketplace, and I'm going to share how it relates to Pipedrive and how it works with Pipedrive. So if you're a salesperson and hate taking notes and having to fill out your CRM manually every time after a conversation, Fireflies will automate that process with you in just a few clicks. So I'm going to share how you turn on the pipe drive integration and what happens after a meeting and what you will see inside pipe drive. Right now, I'm in the Fireflies dashboard, and this is a meeting that I had uh, with a person. And this meeting has a transcript on the right-hand side that I can see. There is a summary in the middle. There's a video recording here. And I can also click on any part of this transcript to listen to it and listen to the and I can listen to the audio. I can search for any keywords that we were talking about in this meeting. Uh, I can do all of these things. So and that one hour call, I can go through in less than five minutes. That's our ultimate value add. I I'm just going to I'm just going to uh, pause you there. That that I sort of repeat what you just said there, right? So. You've got your uh, typical Zoom meeting or Google Meet meeting, whatever you've just seen, uh, or whatever meeting you've been in. So you've transcribed it. You can have search the, the meeting so because it's been transcribed by the, the keyword. So it might be takeaways. So what, what did we learn today? Might be the phrase. And then you could search for that, right? Right. Um, but what else am I looking at? And that's also got the participant's name. So did you have to automatically put them on there? How, how, how did that... For most of the platforms, we can automatically detect the participant's name. Some we may not, but you can easily yeah. edit. We'll detect speaker one, speaker two, and you can just edit speaker one, and it'll edit all the other speaker ones. Awesome. And then it also had the sound bites, so you just clicked where you were. So that was amazing. So sound bites is actually, I can highlight a snippet that I think is an interesting, and then I can create a sound bite of that 20, 30 second snippet and then share it with my teammates. So if a customer gave a feedback uh, or a request, I don't have to share the entire transfer. I'll just go to that snippet, highlight it, create a sound bite, and then that sound bite I can then copy and then share. And then my teammates or folks on Slack only have to listen to that 30 second clip. Super useful. I love that. Uh, in the middle is a summary. Uh, and so we are using generative AI, all of that cool stuff to generate a really high quality summary of the meeting. And there's also a video recording if you're on the business tier of you know, let's say slides were shared or other information was shared. So you're getting both video, transcript, audio, summary, um, and search functionality uh, yeah. as a starting point. But we also have analytics. So it can tell me how much I talked on the call, like if the salesperson talked too much versus the participants or the customers, how fast I'm talking on the call. Um, I also have filters here, AI filters, so I can filter to with one click where all the dates and deadlines were discussed mm. or all the metrics were discussed or the questions that were asked on the call uh, or wherever we discussed pricing. So all of these things were, uh, were possible. And you can even create your own set of topic trackers. So for example, on our sales calls, we talk about integration. So mm. I create a custom topic for integrations. It's really easy. You go in, you set up a bunch of keywords that you want to track and, um, that will allow you to uh, set things up. Very, very straightforward. Uh, so if I click here, I can see all the times we talked about Slack and other integrations. Um, yeah, that, that's, that's in a nutshell, 
everything you're going to get post meeting. Obviously, we have a full fledged dashboard and like global analytics and more mm -hmm. admin centric features. But for an individual sales rep, this is like all you need um, after a meeting to get the job done. So. Yeah, and and it's that follow up. So after that one hour meeting, get your summary, have a look at those um, sentiments or to, to your point, the topics that you care about. And I was just thinking from a um, you got your sales department, and then as it moves. Uh, other meetings, how this can be used across other departments, right? So whether it's um, project delivery, whether it's uh, um, scoping sessions. Um, yep. Yes, it's a very, so very I actually cool. have, we have channels. So I can go to my all hands channels. I can go to my sales, my teammate sales demos. I can go to my HR meeting. So there's a lot of stuff uh, that I can go to and I can organize my entire team's conversations into a voice knowledge base like this. Hmm. Okay. Very, very cool. Cool. Let's talk about integrations and pipe drive. So I'm just going to go to integrations. We have a host of different integrations to different platforms, dialers, telephony systems, project management systems, you name it. We have several integrations along with our video conferencing integrations that we have today. Uh, so specifically, I want to take the AI generated notes and have them automatically logged into pipe drive after every meeting. So I'm going to go to CRM. I just have to turn this on once. And once I turn it on, It'll be set up uh, from the get-go for all future meetings. I'm going to go into PipeDrive. I just do a quick auth into PipeDrive, and I log into my PipeDrive account. I authorize it uh, and approve the app for usage, and I should be good to go. That's it. Now PipeDrive is linked and set up. I can customize if I want only the notes to get logged, uh, if the contact exists. Uh, if the con if I turn this off or turn this on, then what will happen is if the contact doesn't exist inside PipeDrive, then Fireflies won't log it. But mm -hmm. if I have it turned off, uh, if there is no contact, Fireflies will create a new contact after the meeting. So it can even add contacts to your PipeDrive from your calendar uh, based on the meetings you have. And then I can choose if I want to just log it as notes uh, or if I want to log it as both a call and a note. Uh, mm. Yeah, this is really, really simple. The way PipeDrive will know where to log and all that information is we're going to get that right from the calendar. So I just had a meeting with Nishant. Uh, his email is here. Um, you just saw the transcript for it. So Fireflies knows who I spoke with and the email of the person I spoke with, the participant. The nice thing is it's intelligent enough where if you had meetings with someone on your same team, right, from your same domain, it's not going to log mm -hmm. that in. It'll only log it if that person you're talking to on your calendar is from a different company. So for most salespeople, this isn't a problem. And we have the contact card here for Nishant, um, who we were just talking to. And it's logged in here, the AI-generated notes, as well as the different topics that I'm tracking, like CRMs, pricing, uh, and the overall summary. And if I want to go into the transcript, uh, I can just click here and I can go back to that notepad view uh, and listen to the entire call if I need to. Awesome. Very cool. So, so that that there has uh, created, that's a note against um, the, this individual. But you mentioned there, it could also, uh, it's also logged there as a, as a call as well, right? So yes. Um, so it'll also log as a call. So um, then you can track the activities. So I'm just thinking exactly. So you're going to have notes individual. as well as call log activities. Yes. Nice. Very cool. Yeah. So it's uh, automating the busy admin work. Uh, you know, if you have a sales team, usually the sales manager or sales ops is constantly pinging you about, hey, fill out your CRM after meetings. Yeah. I need to know what's going on. I need visibility into the deals. Well, this automates it so that the salespeople can focus on selling and having the meetings and let Fireflies do all the busy work in the back, both taking notes, capturing everything and logging it into your CRM. So now I can be totally hands-free during a meeting and I can be present and I can actually mm. engage in asking meaningful questions. I love that. That That's uh, super, super important. Um, certainly about listening d during the meeting. Um, so Krish, thank you for taking me through that. What I will recommend is, um, I think Krish said that they'll have some links in the description below to get your own personal demo as well, to go a little bit deeper. Um, and we'll have some trial links in the description below for you to give this a try. If you can see how easy it is to set up with your with your pipe drive. But Krish, um, that's it for now. Thanks so much. Thank you.